Okay, so I decided to just show you on video. So this apiary comes with a feeding container, actually across here, a diameter. Two and a quarter. Okay, so two, two and a two quarter, and an eighth. so, or two and an eighth. Yeah, this is a spice jar. This is about two inches in diameter. I'm not sure if you're using Galene as a bee source. If you are, hers are, look like pretty standard spice jars. But anyway, this is where you feed if you're gonna feed with honey. I actually don't feed with honey myself so i suppose if you didn't want that feature you could probably like when my husband makes it he might be able to just put a hole up here and put something like the door on the side that you're going to see pretty soon and then i don't know you might be able to cut one other hole so you could rub honey with your finger on it if you wanted to feed him or something like that but that's that's a whole other issue anyway on the side of this is this hole that you know i think initially was meant for a couple different reasons one for people that were a little bit scared of you know the placement of um bees but now this would not this would have to be switched a little bit and i say that because see i wouldn't be able to get that through there do it the other way okay hold on a second my husband knows more about the just go all the way up. oh okay there so put, pull it all the way over okay sorry i'm really tired and then you could, and this is, would be a little funky, but that's what I'm saying. You can imagine this from the top. You could put this down here after you take your, obviously you take your thing off, you know, and put that in there. You wouldn't need a template because the bees would not be able to get through this, this gap that's in here. Assuming that your spice jar is that size. Now, obviously you wouldn't be able to put anything else in here right away because it'd be all turned around, but... The bees would just fall down by gravity. That's what makes me think you're using Gaylene's bees because that's her idea. And then after they did, you would have to pull this out and really rapidly just shut that. That's one option. If that were on the top, and you're used to doing your feeding anyway on the bottom, so it probably wouldn't matter for you, but if that was on the top, it just this just wouldn't have grading here. And actually on the side, I don't know, it depends on what you wanted, but we could always put grating here and you could do a little side feeding with honey yeah. now that I think about it. So, I mean... There could be a door on the top. Yeah, you know? there could be a door on the top, like this one on the side. And that, that's the way I could think of uh, working out. I always kind of wanted to get a hold of one of those spice jars or find out how big they were so, you know, we could fully accommodate... Uh, for people using those, I haven't had any, we haven't had any customers, Barry hasn't had any customers that that use Galen's bees per se that I know of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't recall, but um, I'm, I'm sure that a couple of them do. And another thing that they might do, it's just a guess, but I actually think it's possible, is they might just open up this because this is quite wide and the spice jar would just fit in here on its side and they might just shut it. And wait until all the bees came out. Now, I mean, that I know getting that out of there could be a pain in the ass, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It might. But, you know, I've gone in and gotten stuff out of out of bee, bee, bee things. I prefer myself the side-loading idea or top-loading idea. And I suppose that wouldn't be that hard of a thing to do at this point in the game. Were it going to be on the top or side, whatever, and... Especially if you know the um, that that the spice jar is pretty to sorry has pretty to um, standard size, which you know, like I said, I don't know what those spice jars come in. So let me know. Um, and we do a quick. He does custom orders, so you know it it is possible to do that. This was sort of a kind like a half off thing, but that particular type of adjustment isn't the worst. Season. So if it if it were something that were pretty standard, I think you could make an argument something like this could be put on the top and just bag the whole hunting feeding system on the top, which, by the way, I've bagged anyway. <laughs> I don't use it. And then just uh, put your bees in that way and shut the door, and there you go. You don't even have to use a template. I mean, it seems like it would work to me. Uh, the other option is to use uh, bees from the Allens, which are crated, and that's what this is for if, you know, if you can see it here, it's a little square hole. Those crates fit right in there. So that's another option, too. Um, so yeah, I can show you. I like, to, I like to put the screw back in continuously when I'm doing videos so I can, can I can take it out to show you. Anyway, this was made to fit fit these crates. This is a crate taken apart, but 
Because sometimes I'll have sugar down in here that we make. It's left over from the Allens. I mean, and I'm planning on making them too. Where you can feed in here. But anyway, see how it fits nicely? So you can feed, you can put your bees right in. And normally there is a cork on this. So your bees just, you take that cork out, you put it in there and they go out into the thing and then you close it. And then on this side, you can kind of get grab bees from the left side if you haven't seen my videos. And so I really like this little house. I like both of them. He's got a bee suite too. It's uh, a little bit more pricey. I've come to like that quite well as, as well. So let me know what you think. Sorry to have blabbered on and on and on. My brain isn't quite functioning tonight, I can tell. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.